Hey everybody, this is Greg coming to you with another Fun Rise update. Uh, we are on week 10 of our journey together, uh, putting money in, and investing in Fun Rise. Um, we're going to be doing, you know, showing this and showing again my YouTube um, numbers here and just kind of showing you the journey that I'm going on since I started this channel just to kind of be a little bit transparent with the users out there just to see what it's like to, to invest but also to kind of build a, a channel and I'm and trying to make these update weekly updates kind of like a uh, you know all-encompassing thing for everything that I'm doing on the channel here so if you do like what you see here please make sure to hit that like button and make sure to hit subscribe uh, down below uh, just so that you can see new videos that come out with me. I try to get one or two out of uh, uh, a week uh, just so that you guys can see new content coming out of this channel. And uh, today we're going to, you know, week 10, we're going to be doing a little bit more than just um, going over the updates here. I do have, uh, as promised, I did tell you guys that once I saw those quarter, the, the third quarter dividends get reinvested, I want to show you how that uh, worked out and, and what that kind of looks like. So without further ado, we're just going to dive deep here into Fundrise on week number 10 of the channel here. So again, we started at $0. We did that initial deposit of, I think, $50 into the account. And um, from if you remember watching last week, which I, I do ask you, you know, if you do enjoy this, go back to the weeks and just kind of watch them through just so you can kind of see how this account has been building on a week to week basis. I don't get them out like exactly every day, every day the same week. Um, but I kind of try and get them out as close as possible. So we're sitting at $491.39. If you, if you saw my uh, video last week, we're, we're sitting about close to the same that we were last week. I didn't want to do anything until that dividend got reinvested just so I could kind of show you how it was done. But I generally do like $50 a week or $50 a pay period, uh, so like every two weeks. So we can kind of just see that it hasn't grown a whole lot. I think it was like maybe five or six cents over this past week. The 2021 year to date, we've seen 80 cents in dividends and um, $40.64 in appreciation. That big appreciation came from the quarter three update um, that, I, that I showed you, uh, I think two weeks ago. So go back there, see that big update if you wanna see where all this $40.64 came from and five cents in advisory fees. So that's a total of $41.39 in appreciation. So we're in 450 of my own money into this so far. So yeah, like I said, we, we're gonna look at this quarter three dividend uh, for 2021. Uh, we do have 32 active projects here. We did get one added in this past week for my last video. And if you look at my channel, I did have that. Um, the Cobalt, I think is what it was called. Um, just go back into my channel and you can see the, the introduction of that. That is a Core Plus uh, property. And you can see that Core Plus is still a big majority of what the portfolio for, for the interval fund here. So we go, um, we're going to look at performance here a little bit. We're up 20.9% in quarter three. And so far in quarter four, we're up 0.1%. And that's about a 17.1% year to date. And you can see this fancy little chart. We're about here, you know, 443, 441, 491. Uh, that's with that extra $50 that I put in. So, you know, we've made about 10 cents dividends here this past week. Fancy math here in my head. Um, in the interval fund, and um, you can see I have 40 and a half shares going in quantity here for, for that at $12.11, the current NAV price. And, um, Unpaid dividends so far this quarter is 23 cents with an unpaid advisory of two cents. So again, total, we've made dividends. I've been paid in 57 cents and I have 23 cents not paid. So there's that 80 and uh, appreciation of $40.64. And then the advisory fees of five cents there. And again, we can see the current projects, 32 of them. And again, like I said, the majority of them is in that core plus. And I did do one. Uh, from before. If we go into um, the interval fund here, we see that it's again $12.11 with a 1.24% current distribution rate and it is a balanced objective. If I go into my transactions, this is where we go into that quarter uh, three reinvestment for dividends. It shows that I had a gross dividend of 57 cents. I had to have a three cent advisory fee paid off for quarter three. And uh, so for, for you guys that are just investing small, 
this gives you guys an idea of, okay, if I'm just doing $50 a week and I'm up to about $500, it's going to be about $0.03 cents a quarter right now. So that's really not bad compared to the amount of dividends that we're getting. So we're, we're making $0.54 cents total on dividends for quarter three. And again, I started partially. So we're going to see what quarter four really brings to play here. But out of that, that $0.54 cents was uh, reinvested up here the day after that my dividend was put in. And that was enough to buy 0 .044 um, of a share at $12.11. So that's what I got out of that. Not a huge, a huge reinvestment at all, but it would be interesting to see as we go quarter by quarter what that kind of goes into. So let's go back in here for the track record. As we can see, let me just refresh that just in case it changed. We have a total of 235,898 accounts being shown on this chart here. And if you've been search, if you've been watching my charts, you can or my videos on a weekly basis. This number has definitely been going up, and this chart has been changing. Hasn't really changed this uh, month or this week though. I don't think we can go back and look. I, I don't think so though. 7.9% for a year uh, rate, so that's your real time return for a client account. Again, you do have some guys up here, as you can see, each blue dot is one account. Um, you don't really see anything down too far here. So we're around 7.1% given one or 2% deviation. So 7.9% for one year, 17.8 for two years, 28.2 for three, 41.1 for four, and 56.5 after five years. So if you invest that $500, you're gonna get 56.5% return. That, that's pretty good. And we have these annual returns. I go over this, uh, I've gone over this a, a week before, but this is just the first half of 2021, so we're not gonna worry about that right now. And the cumulative net distributions earned by clients, $141,430,325.37 so far, cumulative net distributions earned by clients. That's a lot of money. Um, and this, of course, has been going up on a weekly basis. So that's pretty much it for the Fundrise side. I'm gonna go in and just talk to you guys about my YouTube side of this as well. Um, we did it, we did it. I asked you guys last week, do you think we're gonna be able to get up past 500 weekly views in the past 30, uh, 28 days? Uh, we did it, we got up to 550. I'm just looking at that today. Um, we're at 550 views with 40 and a half total hours in the past 28 days, and we're up nine subscribers. We're at 23 subscribers. So, like I said, if you guys subscribe, you guys and and hit that bell, it'll make sure that you guys get new videos as I'm publishing them on YouTube. Um, and and I do, like I said, weekly videos of just like what's coming into the interval fund. Like last week, I did uh, new apartments that came into the interval fund. That that was that core plus. Um, I'm trying to do a little bit more there. I also do something called Ground Floor, uh, which is kind of like creating your own REIT. You're investing in loans that go out to people that are flipping homes. So you're investing directly in a home flip, and as soon as they sell that house, you're getting that money back, and you're getting a little bit of interest on top of that, depending on how much you're putting out there. Usually it's like an 8 to 12% return. Just depends on your risk-reward factors. They can even go up, to, I think, to as much as 15% of a return. It just depends on how much of a risk you as a user want to take. If you guys want to see a little bit more of that, I am doing some videos on that on my channel. Just look for Ground Floor on my channel. I think I have about two or three of those right now. Uh, there, there's not a whole lot of activity because just, I'm just starting out with that, but I'm doing some intro things with Ground Floor just to get you uh, interested in that. If there are any other like crowd-funded, uh, crowd-type um, websites that you want to do, I've been looking at like something like Masterpiece, or Masterworks rather, which is um, art. You know, investing in art, you know, you can put as little, I think, as like 10 or $20 down and you can get a return on art. That's, you know, again, like a real estate type thing where you'll start seeing your returns in that five-year window, things like that. So back to the channel here, like I said, uh, 550 views, that's in the past 28 days. If I go to my lifetime of it, I've got, I'm over a thousand guys, over a thousand views. Thank you very much. I'm so uh, blessed and happy to hear that. Uh, 70, almost 75 hours of watch time 
um, so far, and that's, like I said, 23 subscribers. So in the past 28 hours, I've seen 17 video watches, and that's just because I haven't put anything out new um, since, you know, the, the beginning of the week. But again, when you compare that to, to the last three days, uh, I mean, I've been doing this for 10 weeks, so really 28 is like a month. So I've been doing this for two months, so the bulk of it has come in the past month, which is great. So, like I said, if you guys have liked what you've seen, please make sure to hit that like button down below. Um, gives me a lot of uh, boost and confidence that you guys are interested in this and wanting to watch these videos. And uh, again, please make sure to subscribe. And again, hitting that like button really helps the YouTube algorithm here get my videos out in front there for you guys to watch. And like I said, if you want to subscribe, you want to see the new videos, make sure to hit that bell as well. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. We'll see you here for week number 11 coming up. And I'm going to try and get another video or two out in the week here just for some information for you. All right. So until next time, take care and we'll see you in Fundrise.